Buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. It's me, it's JP. You've seen him before, you've seen him a couple times now. We've fished together a bit. The last time we fished was just before Christmas, and uh, yeah, we had, a, we had a short window, but we had a good morning. Welcome to a beautiful but rather cold morning. We're gonna go and explore a new bit of water for both of us. We've got some weather coming in tomorrow that might kind of make things go a bit squiffy, but we'll work around it. Try and find some fish, fish some new gear, and have a good time. Speaking of gear, speaking of gear, speaking of gear, let me run you through what we're using today. Uh, JP's rigged up the the new rod from Orvis, that black one you would have seen uh, a couple of videos ago, maybe. So he's going to give that a go today. This is a five weight mid flex, nine foot five rod with no name five six weight reel loaded a infinity smooth five weight onto that how long is your leader bro uh must be like 14. cool yeah. about a 14 foot tapered leader to a kind of royal, royal wolfy looking thing and um we'll probably change it up when we get on the river no doubt sticking with the five weight vibe um i'm trying out this guy the new well it's not new it's new to me um this is the helios 3 five weight D for distance. And uh, it's in that cool kind of custom blue. It's a pretty cool way. Eh? Uh, so that's just regular nine foot, five weight, a little bit more grunt. See how it goes in this smaller water, but it might get windy, so that might help. Mirage LT reel, cool burnt orange. Again, same line as JP's, infinity smooth five weight. Yeah, I mean, it's just so good. I'm running seven foot floating poly leader to a tippet ring and then building my leader off of that. And I think I've got like about seven foot of three X to about an arm's length of four X. So probably all up maybe 17, 18 feet. And then I've just put a little tricky situation on there as a transport fly. We actually got here super early. We had to drive around quite a lot actually because there's people everywhere. So we ended up coming way up top and we're gonna look through some water, which I don't think it's gonna have many fish in it, but it could be some big fish. So. It's a good day to go have a look around anyway. The bro's just finishing up some coffee. We're gonna get all uh, casual, have a coffee, wait for the sun to get up a bit higher, get on the water so we can see, and then we'll go for a wander. Too cool for school. All right, it's coffee time. Maybe it wasn't a fish. Yo, okay, so that was just a complete bust. We must have covered, what do you reckon? Two and a half to three kilometers, eh? Yeah, but two and a half to three kilometers of water and we didn't even see one fish between us. Amazing water too, so don't know what's going on there, but we decided to go, nah, we're gonna walk back to the truck. 
we're gonna drive downstream kind of the way we came from this morning and then we're gonna try and find a piece of water down there and look in that for the afternoon quarter past 12 and uh where well, we haven't even fished to a fish yet so got to uh got to pick up our game son <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go We started to fish that next piece of water and then somebody jumped in front of us. And uh, yeah, well, basically just jumped us, which is not cool. So we turned around, boosted back to the truck and we've come further downstream. And then we're gonna try this piece of water up through here for a couple of pools. And just, we just wanna see a fish basically. That'll be a nice start and then uh, go from there. Oh yeah, that's delicious. All right, I think I found a fish. Uh, can you see the, the big rock on the inside? Yeah. Come out from there about five feet. There's another rock on the on the bottom. You're sitting on that. No, in the main current. Coming over him there. Yes, off the top! Woo! Oh, right up for the cicada. Oh, what a cool fish. All right, cool, did it. We found a fish and we caught it. And he ate the dry, which I wasn't expecting at all, but that was super cool. Just sitting there, down there, kind of near the main current, on the bottom by a rock. One cast, drifted over him, he just came up and up and up and up and up. Um, ate it, that's awesome, and a beautiful fish. So that was a lot of work for one fish. Now the mission is to get the bro one. So JP needs to get on the board now. So I'm going to put my rod to one side and I'm not fishing now until he gets one. Another update and it's gonna be quick because we've got nothing to report. <laughs> we've seen nothing. So another another stretch of water. We went up maybe, I don't know, best part of a kilometer maybe, maybe a bit less, probably a bit less. But just like again, just good, beautiful looking water and no fish. So we're gonna go one last shot. We're gonna go right the way downstream now, like way down, and then we're gonna try down there. Just one last ditch effort to see if we can just even see a fish. It's getting ridiculous. So let's go, keep going, keep going. You need a lucky swig of whiskey is what you need. Oh. 
Ah, it tastes like brown trout. That's what they taste like. This little. <laughs> has happened found a fish this is like our fifth different piece of water today I'm on this side of the river JP was on the other side I found a brown trout on the inside on my side so I've just called him over he's coming over now and he better catch this because <laughs> it could be our last shot for the day whenever you're ready bro beautiful lift yes off the top, Ooh. hey, that's a good fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, bro. Yeah, bro. Yes, how was that? That was so cool. One great cast by JP there. And then he came up, ate the dry, somewhere from the strike to a little bit into the fight. The dry came out and then actually f the fish got flossed with the nymph. So it was super lucky we had the dropper on there. Otherwise that wouldn't have, wouldn't have gone our way. And then just came on down through here and we landed him down through here. Chaos through there, I was trying to film. I put the camera on a tripod. The wind blew it over into the sand. I thought I'd broken it, <laughs> almost went in the river. Uh, but it was great and yeah it's four o'clock so we've been working hard for that fish and a stunning fish like that was definitely five six pound fish and just mwah. all right well we'll keep pushing up here a little bit eh? Yeah. I reckon so that's pretty cool hey bro nice fishing cheers mate. wicked All right, we're done, we're calling it. After that last fish of JP's, we did like another, I don't know, same story, beautiful water, didn't see anything. And it's getting on now, like five o'clock, we've got like a couple of hours to drive over to the campsite, close, closer to where we want to fish tomorrow. So it's gonna be a late night anyway. And it's been a huge day, we've clocked up a fair few K for two fish, but they were good fish and it was worth it. Sometimes you just, we were talking about it on the way back, sometimes you just have tough days and you don't see much for whatever reason. Maybe it was fished yesterday, maybe they've dropped further back down the system, I don't know. But when you're checking out somewhere new and you don't really know it, you just kind of got to make a, make a decision and go with it. And we made five decisions today. Six, six actually. Six decisions and went with it. But yeah, kept moving around, kept working, put in the work and got fish each so that's cool that was awesome hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed hit the button join the team later bro see you guys later yep see you guys on the next one peace